My presentation is going to be about the unity and diversity of the cultural aspects in Latin America. Latin America is a large a region with many ethnical influences and rich historical background. This region um, has a great cultural diversity, meaning that multiple forms of cultural expressions uh, are found in its territory, and these uh, forms of cultural expressions have interacted and evolved all together. Uh, in order to develop, every culture has to give and to take something from the uh, culture evolving in the same geographical area. This exchange may have been done in the fields of cuisine, religion, language, way of dressing, music, or dance. Whichever the case, the cultural exchange is a dialogue among various forms of culture and facilitates the process of a globalization. In order to better understand the rich, diverse cultural heritage of Latin America, one must think about its tumultuous uh, history. Latin America has apparently a simple evolution um, and a demographical equilibrium before the colonial age. The indigenous population that the Europeans found when they arrived in Latin America consisted of uh, great civilizations such as the Mesoamericans and the Ants. The first category was represented by populations such as the Aztec and the Maya, uh, and the second one uh, was uh, represented by the Incas and the Moche. Most of the, these civilizations were organized in urban settlements, such as the ones in Tikai and Machu Picchu. The natives were agriculturals and had knowledge of metallurgy and pipeline systems. The indigenous population had a highly developed culture due to their knowledge of medicine, astrology, and um, mathematics. They had centralized governments in which the um, a monarch was the most important person. The, um, therefore, elements of their language, tradition, art, way of dressing, and beliefs have survived for centuries and are still a very important part of nowadays Latin American culture. Another uh, step in the evolution of Latin America was the colonial period. Uh, after the um, Europeans arrived, they started the colonization, which lasted for three centuries. Uh, and brought with it modernization, innovations, uh, and of course had a great impact on the cultural uh, evolution of the societies. Most of uh, Latin America was under the influence of the Spaniards, uh, with the exception of Brazil, who was under Portugal rule. Um, the, colonization cr uh, the, col the colonizers created farms and implemented new techniques to co cultivate the land and uh, brought new crops from Europe. Um, the Spaniards build uh, urban settlements that can still be seen nowadays. In order to further develop the uh, commerce, the colonizers created metal currencies. Equally important is the fact that one of the main means of colonization was the language of the conquistadors. By making their native language compulsory to speak in the new colonies, the Spaniards and Portuguese brought new cultural values that become part of the developing societies. Even though the Spaniards were colonizing uh, most part of Latin America, they tried to protect and preserve the native traditions and beliefs, tried to integrate them into the community and gave them some degree of uh, autonomy. One of the most compelling examples in, the, in this matter is the fact that uh, the Catholic Church tried to defend the rights of the indigenous people and considered them equals uh, with the Europeans, as opposed to the common belief of the imperialists just that thought that the indigenous population was ignorant and incapable of progress. Furthermore, the Catholic Church provided spiritual guidance and structure for the social life. Along with the linguistic unity, um, the, re the religious one played a big part in the evolution of Latin American states and their culture. The Indians did not reject the European customs. On the contrary, they tried to participate in market economy, um, planted the European crops and joined the religion uh, confraternities. Also, they kept elements of their own cultures, uh, such as housing, way of dressing, cuisine, a language, and beliefs. In case of Brazil, there is also a great cultural diversity, and it's not only due to the mixture of the indigenous uh, population with the Portuguese one, uh, also the African element has a big uh, influence. Between the 16th and the 18th century, more than 7 million Africans were 
brought to America as slaves, a large number of them arriving in Brazil. They worked as agriculture, artisans, and servants. Obviously, they had their contribution to the Latin American culture, especially in the fields of music, dance, religious rituals, cuisine. Uh, these um, can be seen in countries such as the Dominican Republic, Brazil, uh, Panama, Venezuela, Colombia, and Cuba. Even if uh, the uh, colonizers tried to create a um, political, social, economic, uh, economical, and religious unity, um, by the end of the colonial rule, there, was still, there were still cultural differences in Latin America. In Peru and Bolivia, people still spoke Chocua and Aymara. Uh, Mayan was still spoken in southern Mexico and uh, Guarani in Paraguay. Uh, eventually, after three centuries of colonization, Latin America wanted to gain uh, independence. European Enlightenment ensured that uh, the main principles of Lat uh, Latin American Revolution, along with the um, American Revolution and the French one. After 10 years of fighting, revolutionaries such as uh, Bolivar, San Martin, and Morales made the dream of independence came true, come true in 1820. This, um, with the um, colonial era gone, the new societies uh, were a mixture of Indians, Europeans, and Africans. Even though none of the states was the same, having uh, different geographical and demographical scales, different ethnic composition and economic resources, they shared some fundamental features, such as the fact that their societies, economies, and cultures were influenced by the uh, European colonial power. As a result of the Spanish conquest, the mother tongue of almost all uh, Latin American countries was Spanish, and their religion was Christian Catholic. Um, however, the first decades of independence were unstable, and progress was slow due to the rule of the warlords. Most of the countries undertook an evolution that stood between chaos driven by ideology and aversion to the risk of change, suffering from uncertain administrative limits, cultural contestable frontiers, and international rivalry. Although the situation was far from good, um, most, one of the most important achievements of that time was the um, abolition of slavery um, by 1850s in all American countries. Major universities were created in Latin America, which led to the establishment of a small class of intellectuals, which expressed ideas for the new republics. These new states had linguistic unity despite of their cultural, geographical, historical, and economic differences, which made revolutionary uh, Simeon Bolivar dream of a united Spanish America. With the ab abolition of slavery, Brazil followed the example of USA and encouraged immigrants from Europe uh, in order to prevent the crisis of labor supply in the 1880s. The immigrants came from Eastern Europe, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, and contributed to the mi uh, mixture of cultures and population in Latin America. This was also the case of Argentina, who recruited skilled workers from abroad. Between 1880s and 1910, it was established that 2.1 million Europeans migrated to Brazil and 2.8 million migrated to Argentina. Also, immigrants from China, Korea, Japan had cultural influences in uh, countries such as Cuba, Brazil, Guatemala, Panama, and Peru. Along with the ethnic mi mixture, the popular culture, also called as folk culture or the working class culture, is an important part of the identity of the Latin Americans. The popular culture consists of carnivals, religious rituals, pottery, oral narrative, language and dances, and it is believed to be a residue of the pre-scientific and pre-industrial area. This type of culture is a way of life, a search for affirmation of national identity, and it is often associated with peasantry. Um, it is also a mixture of European, Indian, and African cultures. Likewise, another expression of the folk culture is the samba, which developed into a popular cultural practice after the abolition of slavery. In the 1930s, it was the music uh, and dance of the African Brazilians, in, and it eventually became a symbol of national identity. Along with the samba, masked balls in the European carnivals, and European carnivals such, in, such as the ones in Venice and Paris were organized by the middle classes. This is how the schools of samba 
were created the, and the parades become, became a form of street carnival in Brazil. In addition to the large number of representation of popular culture, the high culture is also equally important to the Latin Americans, one of its major representatives being the visual arts. Naturally, except for the vast uh, indigenous art, the evolution of visual arts in this region has been highly influenced by Spain, Portugal, and France during most of the time of the colonization. After gaining their independence, the Latin America people started finding their own voice, their own path, which uh, um, is applied in the fields of uh, visual arts also. The next uh, great influence that can be seen at the beginning of the 20th century in the Latin American visual arts is the constructivist movement by the Russian Vladimir uh, Tatlin. The most remarkable painters that followed this movement were Joaquin Torres, and, uh, Joaquin Torres Garcia and Manuel uh, Randon. Uh, perhaps one of the most famous painters of Latin America is Frida Kahlo, her unique style combining realism, symbolism, and surrealism. Even though the diversity of cultural manifestation that has been found in Latin America is, considered, uh, is considerable, foreigners still believe that la all Latin American countries are the same, most of the times making no dis distinction between Argentina, Chile, and Peru. Moreover, a survey conducted in Brazil has shown that 58% of the Brazilians believe that the political, educational, and physical appearance aspects of the northern and the southern Brazil are the most compelling examples of the regional differences in the country. However, there is a commonly spread wrong perception among the people outside Brazil that the country is all about saucer, samba, and the carnival, neglecting the other cultural aspects that it has to offer. In the same way, major cultural differences can be found in Argentina, mainly in the city capital, Buenos Aires. Because of the high immigration rate from Europe, Argentinians may be perceived as non-Hispanics due, due to their lighter skin. Uh, therefore, they feel closer to the European culture, architecture, and uh, way of life. In order to protect all different cultural expressions and languages, the Convention for Cultural Diversity by UNESCO was ratified by the European community along with other 12 other member states on December 18, 2006. Article 1 of the Convention states that the Convention seeks to reaffirm the links between culture, development and di dialogue to create an innovative platform for international cultural cooperation. To this end, it reaffirms the sovereign right of states to elaborate cultural pol policies, co policies with a view to protect and promote diversity of cultural expressions and to create the conditions for uh, cultures to flourish and freely interact in a mutually beneficial manner. This uh, convention, uh, I believe, is a very important uh, step in order to protect all the uh, languages and cultural expressions um, uh, on a global um, stage. To conclude, Latin America is one of the biggest geocultural regions of the world, both of um, the unity and diversity of its culture being not uh, in contrast, but that elements that help shape the now these societies. The multitude of cultural expressions represented a way of communication between the different ethnic groups. It helped their social and economic development, and it added value to the local industry. In other words, the beauty of Latin America is, it, is certainly uh, the fact that um, one can find uh, in it both unity and diversity that blend together as a whole. And I also have a quote by Gabriel Garcia Marquez that said, the most important thing Paris gave me was a perspective on Latin America. It taught me the differences between Latin America and Europe and among the Latin American countries themselves through the, Latin Ameri through the Latins I met there. Thank you.